Hello everyone, Jacobo here and welcome to the newest episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! Engineering, a series in which I try and explain engines in the most complicated card game, at least more complicated than Hearthstone. Today's episode is going to be a bit different than all the others, and that's because the topic of today's video is an engine yet to be released in the TCG, and have been a thing in the OCG for a rather short amount of time. Before we start though, remember to like and subscribe if you like this kind of content. I'm close-ish to reaching 1000 subscribers and about 90 percent of you all aren't even subscribed. There's something special planned for that occasion, and for that to happen as soon as possible, every subscriber counts! With that out of the way, let's praise the sun with the Horus Engine. The Horus Engine is new in the OCG since it premiered as part of the Age of Overlord set in July this year and will have its TCG release in October. Although not format warping, the engine is seen in top cut lists from the OCG, mostly in tier elements. From what I've seen, the engine has two primary functions. The first one is to provide a trade and like draw power, while the other is to easily gain access to powerful rank 8 XCs like the Zombie Vampire, Coach King Giant Trainer, Hope Hubger, blah blah blah, and more. This is the card that makes the engine possible. It has a simple engage-like effect since it searches a copy of Phronic Sarcophagus and allows the player to draw a card. It can also summon itself from the graveyard, providing not only draw power, but also a body on the board. This card is essential for the engine to work. Without it, Imcity's effect cannot be activated and none of the Horus monsters can be summoned back from the graveyard. From what I've been able to test out and from all the deck lists I've been able to look at, the main build of the engine looks as follows. Triple MCT, one or two sarcophagus, and either one or two other Horus monsters with different names. The last one depends on what rank 8 XCs you want to summon, since cards like Giant Trainer require three level 8 monsters to exist. Summon. When it comes to pros of the engine on top of providing some draw power and the body on board, the engine can also contribute as a discard outlet, since up to 4 times per turn you can send one card from your hand to place a Horus monster in the graveyard with the effect of Phronic Sarcophagus. Then those monsters can be easily summoned back. I've mentioned a lot about summoning from the grave, discarding, etc. That is because the engine is heavily reliant on the graveyard in order to function. Therefore, should that be inaccessible, the entire engine falls flat. When it comes to use for the engine, it's especially good for Graveland decks, and the first things that came to my mind were Orcus, Tierlements, like I mentioned earlier, Buster Blader, and Chimera. But there's probably more than I haven't thought of all I'll say about it. Go nuts! With that, we're wrapping today's episode. I hope you learned something new today. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you like this kind of content, since more is coming in the future. I'll see you all in the next video. Chico Sang out. Peace!